<laughs> Both didn't deliver what they normally could have delivered. My beats have been like a tank, have been like a tank. <gasps> Yo, what's up, current and future beatboxers? Welcome back to another analysis with your boy Maddox from Berlin. All my subscribers and people of culture had the chance to vote between four videos and you voted for Beard vs. Codfish. This battle is probably not really controversial, but I really like it because it's my brother who took the third place at GBB. Woo! Is he really my brother though? If you want to take part in the next poll, please subscribe to my channel and check out the community page daily. Before I'm gonna analyze the video, I'm gonna check out the comment section. Let's read some comments! <laughs> Okay, right away, the first comment is Codfish himself. He said, <laughs> This one was a lot of fun. Big up to BR for bringing the energy and congrats on your win, bro. Much love. Now comes the interesting part. Although it was fun, I must say I'm not very happy with my performance this year. Oh, But this is a learning experience and we can only go up from here. I appreciate everyone's support. We must remember, it is not about winning or losing. It is about the love of beatboxing and pushing our art form. And I will continue to work to improve myself and to be better next time. Time. Love you, Cot Fam. <laughs> Such a beautiful comment. Oh, one of the top comments is actually one of mine. One year ago, I said, Proud of my brother, third place, smashed the champion again. Last year, smashed Alem at Worlds. And most people did like this one. <laughs> Why you don't like Codfish, huh? Define smashed. At least he's a Swiss beatbox champion. What did you do at Swiss beatbox? Nothing. Get a grip, dude. Wow, that nearly broke my heart, man. Content, do you even know what Maddox does at Swiss Beatbox? <laughs> oh man, that was right away someone saving me. Man of culture. If it wasn't for Maddox, you probably wouldn't be watching this. Ignorant. He probably didn't know that I was producing the videos. Content, many of us don't have the privilege of traveling to the venue for GBBs and clearly we wouldn't have if not for Maddox. I don't give a hey. damn if you were there, Maddox does the rest of the community a massive favor either way and thank God, not just for your toxic hey. Oh my gosh, thank you bro. Man of culture. BR is super serious, Codfish is just having fun. It's GBB man. I mean they didn't fight for the first place but still, third place at GBB? I wanna have that too. Baby. Mom. 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 Oh, he will say his first words. Baby, Maddox analyze. <laughs> Funny one. Man of culture. 451, I felt the passion. I look forward to the GBB. Whoa, whoa. Seeing all the B-Box family with our friend, Pepuni. Mm, yeah, that community feel was real. <laughs> Nobody, not a single soul. Maddox at 242. I don't know how he's doing that, but I can't really do this. <laughs> Let me check that. Yeah, kinda right, man. 6-6, six, six, the flamingo, lol. <laughs> <laughs> he was feeling the beat too. <laughs> me, sick of seeing all the people trying to get a man of culture from Maddox. Also me, can I get a man of culture? <laughs> nice try, man. Next time spell my name right. 016 Reaps. I'm just here for the Maddox analysis. <laughs> Funny one. Man of culture. 540, me in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Soon, the first video of Maddox and Beard, which is not about Vonox. Am I a man of culture? You're probably a detective of culture. Detective of culture. No one, literally no one. Maddox during a codfish round. <laughs> yeah, I, I like his stuff. Maddox, you did not analyze Ozzy vs. Beard and you did not turn on the subtitles on the battle of 2H vs. Alexinho. Alright, number one is true, but the subtitles, I made it. Here's a quick tutorial for you how to turn on captions. So first of all, you go to this video, then you click on the button on the very left right here that says subtitles closed captions. And then here we go. Not easy enough for you? Probably not a real man of culture then. I'm watching this again because I'm trying to get some exposure from Maddox analysis video. Okay, let me see what you get there, buddy. 121, Codfish, this is the way how to tame a cat pet on Beard's nose. <laughs> yeah, it was a funny one. Man of culture. Codfish, I look forward to the GBB seeing all the beatbox family. Me, I look forward to a Maddox analysis seeing all the people of culture. 
man of culture. Teacher, students, today we have a lot of time, so I will explain the topic slowly and clearly. The explanation. Are you all sound getting getting beating slings your ninja dealing with the waves of the planes or breathing to make a sound on your feet while you leave? Suffocate my stick. Yo, this was a next level joke for real. Does this guy deserve a level two man of culture? I'm waiting for Maddox to analyze this battle because I'm a man of culture. Also, a quick joke, 626, my dog playing with a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a funny one. Man of culture! I'm here before the analysis, please believe me. Oh, I see what you did there. Nice reference to my new song. By the way, guys, if you didn't see my new song yet, check it out right now. I want you, please believe me. I have a music video of it on YouTube and it's on all streaming platforms including Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music and everything else. So if you are a real man of culture, check the song out. And Kira04, you're a man of culture, most definitely. I heard Maddox will review this one. I bet y'all that Maddox will moan again. Probably. Scott felt his routine way too much, coming in like he owns the GBB at 151. <laughs> <laughs> Not very satisfied with the fact that Maddox will analyze his battle instead of his versus remix. But people decided that way and you know what? He will do it cause our boy is a man of culture. You are right man, I'm a man of democracy and I let the people decide. But for sure I'm gonna put his versus remix in the next poll. If you say Maddox three times, it's rumored that he will appear to analyze. Does this really work? Maddox, Maddox, Maddox. Let me analyze that. Grand Beatbox Battle Let's 2019. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, right here live, we have Codfish versus BR. Are you ready for the battle? Yes! 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 That's what I'm talking about. Keep that energy oh, up. I'm it late. starts off with Codfish. I say the yeah, you say the no on the air, and yeah! Beatbox. At this sound, bringing life to all. At this sound, bringing life to all. <laughs> Gail, man. At this sound. <laughs> so smooth, man. At this sound. The snare. I am a this sound. Oh, <laughs> Woo. Nice one. So very typical for Codfish, he started with a really catchy singing line at the beginning and he already created a really nice vibe with it. At this sound, bringing life to all. But then he got into the first beat and he started with a kick, snare and throat bass like Codfish always does. But then he used this really nice snare and only this sound created a whole different vibe. I also really like this little singing run that he used as a break. I am. It really supported this mysterious vibe. Then he did this really reduced break part where he just used a hi-hat and this click snare. And because he did it so smooth and with so much flow, it still was sick, man. Although it was really simple. And you can really feel that the people love the vibe of it. Especially the judges loved it and they couldn't believe that Codfish can do something so simple but so vibey. 
And then he ended his round with the same beat, but with covering his microphone. And to be honest, I don't really like if people do this because it can cause a lot of feedback. I get the point that the beat can get more powerful, but at the same time, you create a lot of muddiness. And also for me, Codfish could have created a way more creative ending. You can tell that he didn't really finish composing this round. So overall, he created a really nice vibe in this round. And I really enjoyed the dynamics in it. Although it was really simple, he had a lot of it. There was an emotional part at the beginning, he had a really sick beat, and then this simple break, man, that was really vibey. But then at the end, there was missing a really energetic part where he goes off, because, yo, it's still a battle, right? So let's check out BR's first round now. Let me analyze that. You should see me in the crown I should run this fucking town I'm a maker and bow Your silence is my favorite sound You should see me in the crown Hey, the crown and 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 hey, the Dark. You should see me in the crown. I should run this fucking town. But the rap part, ah, uh, I don't like it. This voice that he tries to do doesn't really fit to him, and you can tell he feels really uncomfortable with it. I'm a make and bow. Your silence is my favorite sound. And then the transition also wasn't really smooth. He was lowering the tempo and. Man, you can do it in a better way. You shine, see me in the brown, hey, the brown, and hey, the brown, and hey, the brown, and hey, the brown. Then he got into the first drop with this inward bass, and the beat was really powerful, man. Hey, the brown, hey, the brown, hey, the brown, hey, the brown, 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 hey. But the inward bass could be cleaner. I'm not sure if he was too exhausted to perform it properly, or it was just a bad sound choice. But I really like the snare he's doing in between. <laughs> It has a lot of highs, mids and also bass, so it makes it bounce to the beat. Then he got into the second part of the drop and this one was a little bit better. The sound choice was better here. Then he ended up the round with this technical part and my gosh, this bass sound he does there. Kinda sounds like a fart bass, but it has a different texture to it. And because I know the sound from Beard, I know it's not a fart bass. I'm not really sure what's the name of it. Beard bass? In between he had crazy technical patterns, but also here it kind of felt like he was super exhausted, man. He was constantly out of breath. <laughs> And this made the beat really unclean. So after the first round, I have to say Codfish was way cleaner than Beard. Beard had a lot of energy on stage, but was really unclean sometimes. So for me right now, it's really hard to make a decision after the first round. Let's check the second round. Let me analyze that. 
He's an old maid, fire been down. Got the fingers in the air. He's an old maid, fire been down. What does I can do? He's gonna fucking flame you up. He's gonna fucking flame you up. He's an old maid, fire been down. Nerem <laughs> nerem <laughs> This was for the fans. <laughs> to the GVB. Whoa, whoa, seeing all the V-Box family. Oh, why, darn, you're the son again. We make history. And why in Poland? Oh. With our friend, Pepuni. <laughs> wow, such an emotional ending. <laughs> yeah, so everyone's saying Kotfish didn't even try to win the battle. They're probably referring to the second round of him. Yeah, so at this point, it's really hard to analyze this round because he wasn't really battling anymore. It was more like a showcase. He was kind of enjoying his time on stage. And I don't know how to feel about it because he didn't even really try to win this one. So for the second round, he used the routine that he used in the previous GBB as his elimination. And that's fine if you put a little twist on it or something. But he pretty much performed it the same way. But anyways, let's keep analyzing this. His singing was really sick. I really enjoyed it. He's an old maid, fire been down. Got the fingers in the yeah. The only part that I need to criticize is when he goes up with his voice. The upper note is really off pitch. And you can feel that it's above his chest voice range. So maybe he needs to recompose it or use his mixed voice or his head voice at this point. <laughs> Even when he was hitting the climax part, the crowd didn't go insane. Some people were supporting him because they love Cutfish. But yeah, the energy level wasn't there. Then he tried to get the energy level back by stretching this part. <laughs> and he even covers the mic to make the beat feel more powerful, but it re didn't really help. Yeah, but then at least the ending was really emotional. He really catched the attention from the crowd. Oh, I look forward to the GVB. Whoa, whoa, seeing all the Bebox family. And everyone was feeling the vibe. The shout out to Papuni, the shout out to GBB in Poland. our friend, Papuni. Yeah, I still get a little bit of goosebumps when I hear this. Yeah, so there's not a lot to say about Codfish second round. He was out of routines, he used the old routine, and he couldn't put any new elements to it. So yeah, so it's kind of like an unfortunate situation. It was really clean, but there was just no energy. Let's get into BR's second round. Let me analyze that. <laughs> Alright, nice showcase. <laughs> Your motherfucking hands in it.
time. Oh, bro, that was unnecessary. <laughs> Bart went straight in with his diss at the beginning. Nice showcase. <laughs> It was really dry and I love Bart for his dry humor. <laughs> then then he went to this rap part and bro, work on the pronunciation. Ah, oh, it's... I didn't understand a word. I know for a fact that Bart has a really good English, so I don't understand why. I think the biggest problem is that he puts too much tension on his voice when he's rapping. Me, 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 me. He's kind of like trying to use his throat bass in between, trying to sound energetic, but it doesn't really work for me. So bro, please, if you want to keep rapping on stage, look for a different voice, because this one doesn't fit to you, man. He kind of got back the flow when he reintroduced the snares, but then he lost it again when it was just vocals. He was speeding too much, it felt like he desperately wants to get into the drop. And then also the beat feels so rushed, man. <laughs> I can tell he had a lot of pressure in this battle. Maybe he was still lacking in confidence because Dilo destroyed him so hard. But you can feel it because he was constantly out of breath, his timing was bad and his sounds were really unclean. <laughs> I need to say though that this beat was really insane. If he would have performed it well, like clean and timing, man, this would be a killer beat. Then he got into the simple beat where it was just flexing with power. <laughs> And he made the people bounce to it. And the drums hit really hard, but the inward bass wasn't as clean. Again, you can feel that he was out of breath. <laughs> also, the last beat, I can tell he can do it way better with the scratching sound. It felt really forced, so yeah, he was rushing too much. <laughs> Yeah, so what is my conclusion now? Codfish was really clean and powerful, while Beard was also really powerful and creative. But Beard was constantly out of breath and nervous and unclean. But Codfish just gave up with his second round. So yeah, this is a really unfortunate thing right here. Just because it felt like Codfish kind of was giving up in the second round, I would give a big minus point to Codfish for this one. Even if he was out of routines, he could have started with the old one and then at least freestyle something. So I would say if he would have used at least one new element in the second round, he could win this one. Because Beard wasn't himself in this battle. He was super nervous, he lost timing, he lost flow, he wasn't really clean. So both didn't deliver what they normally could have delivered. Yeah, but just because of the fact that Codfish kind of gave up too early, I would give this to Beard. But it's really not an easy decision based on the facts about Bard. Let me analyze that. All right, let's finish this video. <laughs> Papuni collecting the votings. Hands in the middle. The winner in third place, small final. Let's get that drum roll. I wonder how they voted. The winner is, make some noise for B. Art. Yeah. He's not even surprised. <laughs> Give it up one more time from Australia. Give it up for Codfish one more time. Yeah, guys, that's it with this video. I'm a little bit sad because I was expecting way more from such legends. When he beard the Vice World Champion and Codfish, the previous GBB Champion, you'd be like, damn, that's gonna be insane. Yeah, but then Beard was way too nervous. Way too unclean. And Codfish was just out of routines at the end. So yeah, guys, next time, please prepare better for your battles, guys. I can tell Beard was prepared, but oh man, he was just so nervous. I don't know the reason. Maybe it was because Dilo smashed him. Or maybe it was just the fact that he was battling Codfish because he has so many fans in the crowd. And this for a fact can make you feel really anxious. So yeah, for next time, Beard... Practice on your timing, clean up your sounds and work on your rap lyrics, man. Use a different voice or simpler rap parts that you can properly rap, that people understand you. But please do something about it. And Codfish, you need more routines, bro.
All right, guys, that's it for this video. Quick and easy as always. If you enjoy my content, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Other than that, I wish you a pleasant day.